Okay. 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 I have one over here, um, in the on the side right there. And this, this should be a little longer. That's my only complaint. And then I have one actually right underneath the bottom right here. I can reach under and pull it out. And now this is gonna kind of bump it out. Looks like it's needs to go this way, so I'll have to just fill around. Okay, we got it. It takes a little, little finessing in there, and this is a, a scepter, the scepter TV. So, yeah, there was one on the bottom, and then there's one on the side. So now that'll make it that'll make it easy. I can just plug in and unplug, and and the Wi-Fi will get a better signal, better image quality. Okay, I do want to mention that there was a tight fit. The HDMI connectors kind of pinched shut, and so it's a real tight connection. Okay, now we have our uh, the the micro USB that plugs into the side. Plug the other end into a power connection. Okay, they make it pretty hard to get the, the back cover off, which I guess is good. It comes with two AAA batteries. This piece, here's the front. There's a little indentation. You slide it back. I already loosened it up. Works better if you slide it back with two hands. But uh, pop the batteries in there. Okay, this is interesting. They got rid of the spring. There's just a, like a little nub thing for the negative side. Okay, let's keep our, our TV remote, the one that came with the TV. See, this one says Scepter. It's a Scepter TV. Let's keep this handy uh, because we're going to need to find the source or the input button to find HDMI 1 or 2. Um, let's see which one did you plug it into is it one or then use the arrow button is it is it two and then enter okay we're not getting any picture there let's go back to one source or input button then up to HDMI 1, then enter. Hmm, not seeing anything there either. Okay, it was HDMI 3. Source. I didn't know this had three HDMI ports. So I put it on HDMI 3, but yours could be 1, HDMI 2. So this is the first screen that should pop up though. And now it wants me to pair the remote. Okay, I found the, the the other HDMI port was right next to this one. So I went ahead and plugged back in the, the PlayStation or the Xbox. And then there's one over here on the side. But your TV might be different. Okay, I just want to mention, you may want to, uh, if you can't find your TV remote, to change the input to HDMI, whatever yours is, uh, then you're going to want to look for the... The, the buttons to your TV in the menu button or the input button is going to be next to the menu button and the and the the volume the buttons are going to be over on the side somewhere so you just want to find the buttons on the TV and switch the input if you can't find the TV remote just leave it on whichever one's uh, active if it's if you have like a cable box plugged in, unplug the cable box, that HDMI, and plug in your fire stick. Okay, uh, now you use the remote, the volume up and down on the, on the Amazon fire stick remote. Um, and it actually did change the volume on the TV, so now I'm just going to select yes, it worked, the center button. Your Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. Okay.
Okay, I just said no on the payment, and then it took me uh, to this this next screen. And now it looks like we can just add apps. Um, I have a Netflix subscription. I suppose we can sign into YouTube. And the Prime Video might already work. Since we put in our password to sign into the device. Daddy's home. Resume. Okay, it looks like it works. Okay, I just uh, came to YouTube, then hit download over here on the left, and now it's downloading. Okay, if this uh, video helped you out to set up your new Amazon Fire Stick, please give me a like so you can find this video later and other people can find it.